Okay, so this video, um, I'm just going to go over um, some open foam output. So I've got some force data from open foam, and well, from from simple foam, and I want to check that in ParaView to see if the values match up. So the force data that's got saved from simple foam is in this forces.dat file. Um, so at time 100, force data is here. So that's my, so these are the pressure forces uh, in X, Y, and Z. So I put those values into a spreadsheet. Those are these values here. But I want a sanity check to see if they look the same in the actual CFD solution. So what I've done is um, I've used um, foam to BTK minus latest time to get a VTK file with the surfaces in. So I've read my, this is my simple foam solution just on the surface mesh. So this is the front of a race car. And so what I need to do in order to, to check the forces is to integrate them in ParaView. Every time I do this, I forget the precise way to do it. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial just to remind myself on how to um, cross-check the values that, that come out of simple foam. So values from simple foam are created by the force monitors that you set up in the control dict file. Um, but you might want to check that they, they correlate with the actual flow solution itself. So the way to do that is to from your surface mesh, you need to triangulate it. Now that is the most important step. So you're not so this is the actual um, polyhedral surface mesh. And once you triangulate that, you get a triangulated surface. Um, so from that, you need to generate your surface normals. And with the surface normals, you need to check, well, you can, you can basically uncheck all of these options, but check the compute cell normals, because we're working on the cell, cells rather than the points. I've got my normals there, and then I need to use the calculator to calculate the function. So change that to cell data. I'm going to call it force. Or forces. And let's calculate the pressure times the normal normals. That's done, and then I just integrate them up integrate variables. And when you do that, again, you need to select cell data. And here are the forces. Um, and it's as simple as that. So then you can extract these force, this force data. So this is your X, Y, and Z force data. So here we've got quite a high X component because it's the it's just the front half of the car. Um, if the model included the back half as well, then the for, the X force would be uh, much lower. Um, so yeah, we've just got a large positive X force, um, which is the, the drag component, and then we've got a negative. 
wide force, which is a down force. And then we've got a much smaller Z force, as we expect. So, um, those values are already copied into this, into this um, simple spreadsheet. So here I'm comparing the, the simple foam output with the power view output and just looking at the error. And in terms of a percentage error, which is the difference divided by the average, um, times 100, it's just quite a low error there. It, less than 1%, and that's less than 1%, and the Z-force, because it's so small, the relative error is quite high. Um, so that's it really, that's how you can, a quick demonstration of how you can cross-check the force data that um, comes out of the simple phone monitors, um, cross-check that with you using PowerView by integrating the, the pressures over the surface. Okay, that's all for now.